Magandang araw! Noong nakaraan, pinag-aralan natin ang female reproductive system. Ngayon naman, tatalakayin natin ang male reproductive system. Pero bago tayo magpatuloy, please like, share, and subscribe for more science-related video lessons. Ano-ano ang mga organs na kasali sa male reproductive system? Most of the male reproductive system is located outside of the body. These external structures are the penis, scrotum, testes, and epididymis. While the internal organs of the male reproductive system are called accessory organs, they include the vas deferens, prostate gland, seminal vesicle, urethra, and bulborethral gland. The organs of the male reproductive system are specialized for three primary functions, at ito ay ang mga sumusunod. Gumawa ng male reproductive cells o ng sperm at semen. Ipasok ang sperm sa female reproductive tract para sa proseso ng fertilization at gumawa ng male sex hormones na testosterone. Unahin natin talakayin ang mga organs ng external male reproductive system. Ito ay ang penis. This is the male organ used in sexual intercourse. It has three parts. The root, which attaches to the wall of the abdomen, the body or the shaft, and the glands, which is the cone-shaped part at the end of the penis. The glands, also called the head of the penis, is covered with a loose layer of skin called foreskin. Ang balat na ito ay ang siyang tinatanggal during the process of circumcision. At sa dulo ng penis ay ang opening ng urethra na siyang daanan ng ihe at ng semen. Sunod ay ang scrotum. This is the loose pouch like sack of skin that hangs behind and below the penis. It contains the testicles or testes as well as many nerves and blood vessels. The scrotum acts as a climate control system of the testes. Sa loob ng scrotum, makikita ang testes. These are oval organs about the size of large olives. At ito ang gumagawa ng testosterone na siya namang primary sex hormones ng mga lalaki. At sa loob ng testes ay ang tinatawag na seminiferous tubules. These are the tubes that are responsible for producing sperm cells. Epididymis The epididymis is a long coiled tube that rests on the back side of each testicle. It carries and stores sperm cells that are created in the testes. It is also the job of epididymis to bring the sperm to maturity. Ngayon naman, isa-isayin natin ang organs sa internal male reproductive system. Vas difference. The vas difference is a long muscular tube that transports mature sperm to the urethra in preparation for ejaculation. Next, we have the urethra. The urethra serves a dual function in males. This channel is the part of the urinary tract that transports urine from the bladder and the part of the reproductive system through which semen is ejaculated. Seminal vesicle. These are sac-like pouches that attach to the vas deferens near the base of the bladder. 
The seminal vesicles make a sugar-rich fluid fructose that provides sperm with a source of energy and helps with the sperm's ability to move. Ang organ na ito ay gumagawa ng fluid na mayaman sa sugar na siyang nagbibigay energy sa sperm para makagalaw. Ito naman ang prostate gland. It is located just below the bladder in men and surrounds the top portion of the tube that drains urine from the bladder. The prostate's primary function is to produce the fluid that nourishes and transports sperm. Ang pinakatrabaho ng prostate gland ay gumawa ng fluid para manourish at maitransport ang sperm. And lastly, we have the bulbourethral gland. Also called as scalper's glands, these are pea-sized structures located just below the prostate gland. These glands produce a clear, slippery fluid that empties directly into the urethra. This fluid serves to lubricate the urethra and neutralize any acidity that may be present due to the residual drops of urine in the urethra.